you're looking for today. Much, much quieter. It was an interesting day in terms of winds because we had quite a bit of wind up north. I gusts into the mid 40s, but you get down south of Everett and it was pretty calm through the entire day for that matter. So but that's western Washington. Hit some places, doesn't hit others. The rain hit just about everywhere and everybody got a good round of snow, anywhere from six to 12 inches of new snow up in the mountains. And if you're headed across the pass, as I was saying just a little bit ago, you definitely want to put off your travel. Right now, chains are required for Stevens, Snoqualmie, and Blue Passes. Traction tires are required if you're headed across White Pass. But the snow will be letting up there over the next couple of hours. They'll get a chance to get ahead of it with the plows to get uh, driven off a little bit. It'll be a much easier trip across the Cascades if you're heading that direction. You can see on the Doppler radar, things drying out down here in the lowlands as well. Some good news. We have uh, still those few showers up in the mountains. And you see down along that I-5 corridor from Olympia, actually all the way up to Bellingham, things looking pretty dry. It might be a couple of sprinkles, but that's going to be about it. A nice contrast to what we saw yesterday morning, that's for sure. Checking temperatures, you step out the door right now, mostly in the upper 30s and low 40s, so a little bit cooler than we saw. Snow levels right now are running around 2,000 to 2,500 feet, but they'll be going up as we head towards a little bit later on. Checking that University of Washington model, it shows things drying out. In fact, there's even some breaks in the overcast. We might be a glimpse of sunshine once we get that sun up, which seems like it doesn't rise until about noon right now. We're going to be looking for uh, the clouds to start to thicken up, though, as we head towards midday. Warm front's going to start to push in here, and we are going to be seeing the rain start to increase by midday, and then we'll see rain around in the afternoon. The main bulk of, the bulk of it will be out towards the coast in the afternoon, but then move in overnight tonight. It's going to turn breezy this afternoon, kind of windy overnight tonight as this warm front moves in, and then it's going to be lifting northward during the day on Thursday up into southern British Columbia. So we're actually going to dry out as we head towards later Thursday. The front, cold front associated will move in as we head towards Friday, and that's going to give us a round of rain on Friday morning on into the afternoon. Showers in the afternoon, and then it still looks like we're going to dry out as we head into Saturday, so that's good news. So for today, we're going to be looking for increasing rain this afternoon. We're going to turn breezy by later this afternoon as well. High temperatures today getting into the mid to upper 40s. Decreasing showers with things drying out tomorrow afternoon. We'll look for increasing uh, rain on Friday and uh, a little windy on Friday as well. Partly sunny, maybe a stray shower Saturday, but mostly dry. Rain moves back in again Sunday. Showers Monday, rainy Tuesday. A little warmer next week with highs pushing to the upper 40s and near 50 degrees. We'll check the mountain forecast coming up in just a couple minutes.